Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen, for another edition of Texas Insider TV, brought to you by the Texas Alliance of Energy Producers. I'm Jim Cardle, and we're thrilled to be able to visit today with the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee in Washington, D.C., Kevin Brady from Congressional District 8 out of Houston. And Mr. Chairman, I guess uh, Fox News and This Week and some of the other shows were uh, we're on the short list, but you were nice enough there to give us. There you go. Us, enough uh, of those of those uh, stations. I'm glad to be with you, Jim. Thanks. Well, you have been a true asset, uh, just speaking personally, for this nation and for the state of Texas and your work on historic tax reform, the first in 30 years. And I know you're here visiting with the Texas Realtors Association. You got to catch an airplane, so I want to jump right into Great, it if thanks. I can. Um, I've got basically three questions I want to ask you about the economy, about jobs, small businesses. But first of all, I thought it'd be interesting for you to just share. You have been at the White House. You have been on the telephone trading phones with Donald Trump. You have been working hand in hand with the administration. What is it like to work with President Donald Trump? Well, it's terrific. And it's, in, in a word, it's terrific, uh, especially on tax reform. We were able, we visited a lot, both at the White House. I think. One of the key moments in tax reform was when President Trump agreed to work with the House and the Senate tax writers to come together on one tax uh, plan, not three, not five. We saw health care, you know, fail because we weren't all together on the same page. He agreed to do that. We spent two and a half months doing that. But for me, these uh, phone calls daily, sometimes twice daily, sometimes late, late, late at night, talking with him about what he wanted to see in tax reform, where we were going, lots of questions, a lot of good discussions there. And so I, he was incredibly encouraging, knows these tax issues in a big way. Really? And even when we disagreed, we worked through that, and at the end of the phone conversation, he would say, Kevin, uh, I trust your judgment, I'll back what you decide. Well, how do you answer anything better than the President of the United States saying, have faith in you, to make a good decision. So as far as you could tell, he was, his mental faculties are oh, there. Oh, for heaven's sake. He was a hands-on type engaged president and very proactive, I guess. Impressive, to say the least, and we would not have this tax cut. Nowhere really? close without President Trump's leadership. Well, interesting uh, that you were in this spot coming from a Chamber of Commerce executive yeah. and economic development from Houston and, and able to work with him on that. Let's jump to number two question and that is, uh, I went back and looked and the last time we visited one of the things you said was that the liberals and the Democrats don't necessarily care about tax cuts for the rich. They really care about tax cuts for you. Small businesses, personal tax cuts, talk about the, the particulars on small business, which, by the way, drives Texas, drives the nation, and is a big part that may not have been talked about. Yeah, the, the, I, I don't think the media has really covered them the way they should. One, for families in small businesses, you know, they're paying off the individual tax rates. So there was a tax cut at every level. That's good news. But for small businesses, we went beyond that. For the first time, we created a 20% uh, deduction, a discount off your taxes for small businesses at every income level. And so Main Street businesses for the first time are going to get real tax relief. Secondly, they're going to be able to immediately write off all that investment in new equipment, technology, software, mm -hmm. you know, and all that, those new vehicles. That really helps them from a Main Street perspective. Because for a lot of businesses, if I understand it right, it's almost as if they report taxes as an individual, as a small business. Yeah, exactly right. They, they're not the corporations that, that have that to tax cut. In the past, small businesses have really been left behind. We were determined from the get-go that would not happen. And so I'm really encouraged by what we did for Main Street businesses. And then finally to, and again, folks, I want to thank you for joining us for this edition of Texas Insider Television. Final question for Kevin Brady, Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, is you have been marketing, I know, a phrase, leapfrog the economy, build for growth. And now we've had two successive quarters of over 3% growth. You're Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. Every month the jobs numbers come out and we get a press release in our inbox. What do you see, let's just keep it for the, the rest of the year, is this, and we've had all these businesses already announce bonuses and pay increases. 
What are your projections? Well, economists are starting to change their projections. So one of the reasons we dove into tax reform is because all the economists said, look, the next 10 years for America will be just as slow and stagnant as the last 10 years. And that's not acceptable. So this was all about a code built for growth, the jobs and paychecks and the economy, but leapfrogged America from nearly dead last among the world into the lead position. That's what this tax reform did. That's why you're seeing nearly 400 businesses already sharing bonuses, pay raises, benefits. You're seeing companies bringing back dollars after, for example. But a lot of Texas yeah. companies, 120 of them, already are sharing tax reform with their families. Exxon Mobil's investing on the coast. Absolutely, and yeah, in a big, big way. That's $50 billion on top of the massive build out in the Gulf Coast. So those are tons of jobs. And the other thing is, people, Texas is made for trade. Okay. And in our energy world, our aerospace world, all of this, we are very good at it. Well, this tax code is made for trade as well. It's really built for states like ours to compete and win around the world. And we now uh, permit them to bring those earnings back to be reinvested in America at a zero tax rate. And so, from our standpoint, Texas is expected to be the top two states for job growth really? from tax reform, about 81,000 new good paying jobs. As if we um, don't already have enough on our hands. We're, right? we're doing good and we're gonna do better uh, because this code makes us more competitive. And talk about, uh, you're mentioning trade, leads me to think, what does the chairman do of ways and means after he's passed historic tax reform. I know NAFTA may be one of them. Trade, what do you got in it is. the pipeline for the ways and means? So maximize this tax growth, grow the economy more. To do that, we need more customers, that's trade. You know, NAFTA, for example, but the Asia Pacific as well. And we need more workers, okay. uh, qualified workers. And we have, we think, millions of them who are on the sidelines, often trapped in a welfare system that doesn't encourage them to get back in there. So we're going to focus on trade. I'm confident that the president will be able to modernize NAFTA in a good way. So we've already engaged with him on trade and then on, on what used to be called welfare reform. But really, Jim, it's, it's about helping people get yeah. from poverty to prosperity, working with them. On their feet. Yeah, yeah. Don't give up on them. And so those are two of the areas, as well as um, health care costs are still too high. we got to get those done. So there's still some exciting things left. Okay, well, we appreciate your time and making the effort to stop by and visit with uh, us. Jim, thanks very much for, for uh, setting all this up on an early Sunday uh, morning. It's terrific to be with you. Folks, we're pleased to be able to visit with and thank Congressman Kevin Brady from House District 8, just outside of Houston. He is the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, where all tax reform and tax cuts start. Congressman Kevin Brady, congratulations on the job. Thank you, Jim. We appreciate you joining us. Remember, you're either an insider or you're not. I'm Jim Carter.